Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we are drawing some fan art of a spooky ghost. He is from a video game called Phasmophobia. For me, this drawing serves two purposes. This is my favorite enemy character model. However, the game is still under development, and he may be going away at some point. So I wanted to draw him. And secondly, I really wanted to try my hands at some serious color mixing with markers. The first layer of his shirt was done in warm greens, with slightly cooler greens for the shadows. And now we're going over his shirt with some warm browns. It's supposed to be your standard red flannel shirt, but one that has spent some time in a grave. And that is what we're trying to emphasize here. Here we're starting on the exposed muscle tissues where his skin has fallen away. One of the challenges of this piece was to create two different families of red, one for his shirt and one for his body, and have them be distinct from each other. You can see some color swatches off to the left. I did quite a few of these. I think some are even off screen. This is where I tested my color combinations before deciding which ones I wanted to use in my piece. These two distinct undertone colors are what helps distinguish the red areas from each other. I'm going back to his shirt now to add the final layer of red. I colored the milky whites of his eyes by starting with a pale blue first and then layering a slightly darker blue over it while it was still wet. I came in afterward with my colorless blender to soften the edges there. You can get away with doing this with very light colors, but as you'll see later in the video, using a colorless blender on very dark colors creates a blotchy, water-stained looking area. Typically, this is something you want to avoid, but in this case, I found the effect useful. Here is the part where I used the colorless blender on his tongue. This, along with the fresh medium coming out of the blender, helped to push some of the dye in the area out through the back of the paper. The blotchiness this technique leaves behind was not a problem here specifically, because it does work well as a tongue. Texture.
I am doing the first layer of this skin with a standard skin tone. This may seem odd, considering he is quite dead, but it will add some depth to the cool blues and grays I layer on top of it.
We're coming to the end here, and I want to thank you for watching today. I wasn't sure at first if I wanted to record this process. My final inked piece made this fellow look much happier than he usually is, but I am glad I did. And as always, I hope to see you next time.